But just in the recent meta, I just feel like those two particularly have been having some of the more difficult top tiers, in my opinion. Oh, they're so hard to play. Yeah. You have to have such solid neutral, and like the stamina you need to play some of those characters is absolutely insane because you don't have like that 50% out. I know yeah. Pikachu has like certain situations where if you nail the edge guard, call it the double jump. And same thing with Inkling if you yeah. get the really dank edge guards, but like that doesn't come too often, right? No, it takes so much work. You have to guess correctly over and over to get those stocks. And that's like one of the players that's really talented at doing that, obviously, uh, to be ranked so highly. Um, I feel like a lot of the style of play of Inkling has been more reserved and like using the splat bomb better right. and things like that. Uh, it wasn't the dash dance in your face and uh, going on you as much gameplay that we expected, but as I say that, XX doing a great job of just dance, dance, dash dancing in XX, or Ike Tyson's face, and then getting these grabs on as a whip punish. Yeah, and definitely Ike, a character that was uh, very popular because of uh, Leo in the beginning. Remember just when everyone thought this character was broken? Yeah, I'm telling, that's what I'm saying, man. Like, everyone's like, fan Joker. I'm like, you guys are crazy. Leo's just godlike. You guys, Leo made people think that Ike was broken. I knew <laughs> that was fake news from the get-go. I was just like, Leo's godlike, bro. Leo's godlike, bro. But um, I mean, Ike Tyson's still rocking the, uh, rocking that uh, Ike it's in his tournament. Namesake. Yeah, yeah, and I, I feel like the character's a lot better than Smash Four. I'm, I'm really happy for the character. He actually has some stuff. Nair is up throw like, up air. Yep. Wow. wow, that's actually not gonna kill. That's a really, really big deal because that is the main thing you yeah. want to see Inkling get the stocks. If Inkling can up throw up air for their stocks and get the stock at around that 120 mark, that's a very, very big deal because now again. We talked about it time and time again. Inkling is up against a character. 150%. Max Rage. One Nair up air could do it here. Yeah, so the percent range is specifically on Ike 121 to 149% with no rage. Yeah, there it is. And that up throw up air not killing. And that forward tilt, very, very solid ledge trap here. And Ike Tiger took the risk, got the stock. And now Exact is in a position where he has no rage. Yeah, the back air not, still not nearly going to kill, obviously. But... It just got kind of be X axis approach tools, uh, you know, a safe option you can go for over and over. The folder is actually quite strong, but it's not the fastest move on startup. Yeah. And so it's kind of difficult. You have to like call out a jump with it or something. I like the down air or down smash coming out from X axis. Yeah. Is a little riskier, but at this point, I feel like he has to go for some kind of risk, right? He need he needs to get this up. He needs to wipe this rage off of the Ike because Ike. Let me tell you, man. Yeah. Ike rage with monster. rages will kill you at 70, and you will like. You'll it's be upset. You'll, you'll, be, you'll rage. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, I've been very angry at this character before. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it, it, it can be tough. This character's recovery, not the easiest sometimes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now, I feel like the one thing that really brings in clean together as a character is, yeah, it's so hard to kill sometimes with the uh, with the back airs, things like that. But there are two big things that I've seen from XX that I want to point out. Is one, the ink mechanic in general that's specific to Inkling, where right. you put you jab them, they take 24%, and then they take extra damage whenever you hit them for a little bit afterward. Right. So they're getting to that 200% pretty quickly sometimes. Uh, the other is that Inklings have started to use tech chasing rollers. Yes. Where they'll back air you, get the hard knockdown. Or and there, they, falling there. Yeah, things like that. And it's a 50-50 on if... Ike always has that, obviously. Yeah. But then it becomes a 50-50 between a jab lock into a roller or forward smash or something, or just going straight for the roller if you tag. Exactly, yeah. And that, that's a, a big deal. Almost getting that inkling combo with the Nair, usually comboing into that back air or forward air. But great DI coming out from Ike Tyson. And these Nairs are coming in clutch here. Pretty much even game for both these competitors. Yeah, I'd really... XX has to just be playing the ground game here because every time he jumps, Ike Tyson is ready with his own neutral air. Okay, there's the... Oh, Nair. Doesn't, oh, he tried to get the, the reset on the platform. If yeah, he hit that another, another Nair, he would have been dead. Okay, there's the Nair up air. One more could do the trick because Ike Tyson has low raid. Exact. Okay, there's the down smash. There's the, oh, he's dead. That's it? Yep. No, wait, wait. no, he's close enough. He has the up but the down air. And Exact. That's exactly what you need to do. Yes, and Exact gets the down smash, gets the second down smash, and I'm glad we're seeing him take more risks, right? Yeah. Not always taking the quote unquote safe play, the safe back air. And Exact's putting him in a position to take more risks. Get the down um, down smash, get another down smash, and some people would have been scared to down air that upbeat. Yeah. You know what I mean? But Exact with the confidence, and that's where you have to abuse Ike. 
Um, you can definitely just hit him. There's no snapping on the way up there. Yeah, so exactly. pretty much he was dead, and Exact showing that he is that veteran. He can close out these stocks. Yeah, perfect timing, honestly. Like, yeah. You know, the down air, it, it's actually kind of hard to get that sweet spot spike. It, sometimes it sends to the side, something like that. But Exact's in a perfect position to get exactly where he needs. Oh, oh the, the Nair at 0% um, usually doesn't combo into anything uh, true. So I placed him there trying to go for I didn't see right there. He knew. So he got the Nair, and instead of, like, autopiloting into the up tilt, he tried to get the reset. But really good stuff. Already 50% though here on to Ike Tyson. Got some ink on him too, man. Yeah, and so the uh, the neutral B that Ike Tyson so, so. went for right there, it's actually a really slept on move. Dude, that move is probably one of Inkling's like Like, moves. it's so good, and like it's so underutilized, I feel, because it's minus zero on shield. It's perfectly even. That's um, insane. But a lot of people, uh, so like a lot of times you'll see Inkling's like run up, shoot your shield, and then yeah. if you get caught holding shield, they grab you. Yeah. Or they call out a jump with an up and things like that. It's such a good tool, and it has, you know, like the mini knockback to start it. And you have to respect, like, after the splatter shot, they might mash jab. Yeah. And, like, you do not want to get mashed. Or you don't want to get jabbed by Inkling. So exactly. there's so much threat in that situation, right? And I've seen a lot of Inklings do, like, ledge drop, double jump, splatter shot. Yeah. Or, like, we've seen Exact even in neutral run up and splatter shot. If you run away, you get some damage in ink. Oh, Ooh. there. Oh, he. No way. Oh, I feel like up smash would have killed. No, actually, it would not. Because uh, he's heavy enough? Yes. Okay, there's okay. a weight class where Inkling cannot uncharge up smash out okay, of the ground. Okay. If you charge it, he would have been able to, but I'm not sure if he had enough time to do it. Ike Tyson would have mashed out. And the other smash won't kill him if he doesn't get the first hit of it. Yeah, yeah. I, I knew heavies were hard to get off of that with the up smash, but I, I didn't know if Ike fell into that category, yes. and it, it definitely it's sounds like Even it characters like Cloud can't be up smash. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Cloud, so it's, uh, Mies can't be up smash? Geez, so it's not that heavy. It's like, you gotta, it's, you're like kind of It's kind of generous, yeah. You, you're kind of thick. like. <laughs> yeah, it's like anything above medium weight, honestly. And then look at the situation time and time again. But the Splat Bomb is going to make it back, but the I'm Down Smash is not going to connect here. I'm genuinely surprised that Splat Bomb didn't kill. Yeah, but and now Some look at this. Ike Tyson, player. if he gets a Nair, he's dead. Nair, he's dead. He's, he's dead. <laughs> and I called it. Like, he has max rage. You, you, Inkling at, like, 70 80%. Uh, it's so dangerous. Oh, man, that's why it's so important. He's still not dead. No, he misses the punish on that. But Ike Tyson still going to survive. Directional air dodge to the legend. Ike Tyson's doing such a great job of surviving, but the back air will come through for Exax. Whew, you got it. Yo, playing Inkling must be stressful, bro. It's very stressful, <laughs> trust me. Like, dang, I, I do not want to put myself through this, man. I mean, the character feels rewarding when you get off. Or, but well, like, yeah. And you have, like, crazy movement options, so the, the character obviously It takes a really specific fun. type of player, I feel, to get the most out of this character. And Exax doing his best to show that he is that kind of player. 78% right now. Goes for the jab lock. You oh. said this, right? You, yes. You like the so, roller setups, especially after jab lock, too. Yeah, exactly. Just like that, he gets the jabs into the forward smash. Okay, safe neutral. He's not at a, like a super high percent where he has to like super respect Nair, but you can see Exact is kind of trying to get this kill. He doesn't want. He's he's willing to take risk and take some percentage as long as he doesn't have to deal with Max Rage Ice, right? Yeah. Oh, oh man, I guess you're trying to get this read. Yeah, I like the play, you know, in that pressure situation, looking for the air dodge, but the forward smash will connect that time. The slight charge on it, too. Hitting him with that uh, Picasso. Okay, this is the position you want to be with Inkling. Yeah. You you are you have great early damaging tools. You're up a stock. You're chilling. You just got to hit this bear to grab. Is that your stock? Not enough rage. And you see how big of a factor this rage is. Yeah, it's definitely, you know, paying off for exactly that he was able to get that stock. If he got hit with that before taking the stock, he was gone. Oh, but, but he still got it. Yep. And there, that was the threshold where you're like, man, I wish you had rage because the Nair up air wouldn't have comboed. You know what I mean? Just the trade-off, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, I Tyson kind of moving on Inkling right now, though. Yeah, and it, that's definitely hard to do because Inkling's dash is broken. Okay, here's the back here. It's very safe. Uh, one of the better sword moves in the game. There's an air, jab block. Okay, good second place hard. here for Ike Tyson. Another tech chase. And so, so close. Ike Tyson did a really good job on the defense on these tech chases. It's so important that you take as least amount of damage. And oh, Ike Tyson's on the hunt. And now this is trying to get to somewhat dangerous percent oh, here. Oh, didn't believe in the nair. Okay, not going for the up air. I like that. He doesn't want to stay let out. Oh, man, he didn't believe in that nair. He didn't believe in it. No, oh, there's the roll in the forward smash. No, he, he misses. misses. He misses again. Oh man, that's that's the so nerds. tragic. No, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. And they're up, air and <laughs> dang you. 
That hurt me. Like, I, I'm glad Ike Tyson got on the board, but dang, it, it always sucks to see that happen twice. Oh, I, that, that broke my heart. Yeah, oh man. Like the amount of times I've had that happen to me where it's like you, you think you're close enough and you're just not. Dude, he was Ooh. like pixels off, bro. That. And the thing is, like, Inkling's forward smash, it has a tip on. Right, you don't want to be too close. Yeah. So he was in that range where it's like, if I dash, I might get not get the sweet spot. Yeah. I, I want the brush area of the paper. Exactly. Right? If you get the handle, it's not that strong. Right. And you know. So in that situation, you have to walk. You yeah. have to like walk a little bit, then do it, and not dash. It's difficult. Oh, big damage here. Ooh, look at all this jab damage. Look at all this ink. Okay, he so wanted to drop low and then just tap to the ledge. I actually don't think. I think that was intentional where he up beat because oh, if okay. I could immediately up beat, he would have cut the handle a bit. Of the oh, okay. Apex okay. with the up beat. Okay. I mean, great lead. Um, something we've seen very, very common throughout this set, right? Uh, Exact opening up really strong, getting a lot of damage. Okay. Oh. There, back air. Exact's trying to get that down smash. And like I said, it's. Oh, he gets the risk. There. Oh, yeah. he gets the handle, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, when you're that close to the ledge, you just go for it. Yeah, yeah. See, in that other situation, he was close to the middle, so he needed that sweet spot, exactly. right? Exactly. Okay, now Exact's making quick work of this stock. Maybe um, a surge of confidence here for him coming into this uh, next game here. Yeah, I think he's really turned on the gas, says, you know what, I know how good of a player I am. I can demonstrate that. I'm, I have nothing to fear of this. I, you know, definitely should be fearing the neutral there. But, you know, if you're playing confidently around it, then... You're good, right? Yeah. Even that forward smash didn't connect, but it was very confident like forward it. smash. Yeah. He's got to be careful. The one nair will be death. Uh, <laughs> when you're playing that game against like, this is not getting aired. That might have put him out of percent rage. We'll see. I, I still think he might die off nair. Uh, he's he's got to be so careful, because like you, you you really have to abuse the fact that you have the lead here, right? Yeah. You I either just like get you can take hits, but you just can't get nair. Or ooh, ooh, or bear. The back air just gonna call out the forward air from the ledge. Not too much damage, honestly, on Ike Tyson here. Oh, waits it out. Tries to go for the back here, but the shield coming out for Ike Tyson. Tech chase. Oh, goes for the roller. But I, I think he might have DI'd a tad bit up on that. Yeah, name. if you DI up and then jump out of it, Inklin can't get the roller. Board air? Wow. wow. I like the setup from Exax. Uh, That's new. Uh, DI mix up there. Maybe yeah, he, he had to have been holding right. Uh, of course. You know, he doesn't want to get forward thrown off stage and edge guard, so he's holding in. And Exax recognizes it and said, you're going to go straight up if I down throw you, and I'll get this forward air. Yeah, but uh, like one thing to note, though, there's no reason to fear that because Inkling's forward throw will it, never kill It'll you. never kill, but... So you should always just, like, he, us, you I know what I mean? I think you just want to, you know, be closer to the stage and right, right. recovery a little bit easier. Yeah, sometimes that little bit of just DIing in will help you. Like, oh, yeah. now I'm close enough to not burn double jump. I can just directional air dodge, save my double jump, yada, yada. Okay, but now Exact's up an entire stock here, and that... That mix-up is uh, doing tenfolds here for him, and now Inkling, where he wants to be in terms of just, like, abusing his top tierness, right? Like, I'm up a stock, now I can play very, very safe, and you're going to take a bunch of damage because my character can weave in and out, and I'm going to whiff punish you over and over again. Yeah, and we're seeing a lot of rollers not connecting, but they are putting the ink on the floor, which will slow Ike, an already rather slow character. Yeah. And yeah, Exact still playing very, very safe. And like, we've seen him go aggressive and we've seen him go safe. And I feel like Exact, especially in this game number three, is doing a good mix of both and knowing exactly when and where to do it. Because now he's been playing safe, but oh, there it is. Oh my god. Uh, the moment he goes in as Ike Tyson's retreating with that Nair. Oh, was that your double jump though? No, he has the double jump. What's the ledge trap? Goes for the down smash here. Tries I to get the roller. I love that Ike Tyson was aware that, you know, the down smash was going to be the option just jumping over it. Not giving XX what he wants. Oh, probably wanted a bear there. Yeah, that's very likely. Oh, the jabs? Yeah. Oh, very nice. Getting behind Ike Tyson. That neutral air is great. Does get behind him, but it does take some time, right? Swings in yeah. front of him first, then he gets the tail end behind him. But man, when you get that tail end part, ooh, that's when you can the world's your oyster. <laughs> yeah, Ike is playing oh, very patiently it. here, but the forward smash to give it some charge. It still doesn't kill! He got a lot of percent though, the splat bomb. Is going to do dead. it. Wow, and the snipe off stage. Exact will yeah. close it out. That, that was a great splat bomb right there. Knows the exact angle he has to drop it at uh, to catch the air dodge there. Yeah, yeah, really good stuff coming out but here from Exact. Damn.